Hey, what's up? This is Reed. The new Amazon Echo was just released with an all new design and a Zigbee hub inside as well. What can you actually do with the hub? Well, I'll go over that. Plus how this is kind of like a Trojan horse in the smart home space. Hear me out, I'll explain later, but first let me quickly go over the hardware. Full disclosure, Amazon sent me this one to try out. When looking at the new design, it's very different from the cylinder shape we're used to, but I actually like the look of it better. I've had it in the corner of our living room for a few days and have hardly noticed it. I think it's due to it being shorter and rounder, which helps it blend in. The buttons are still on top and you can also tap the top to snooze an alarm. The LED ring light is now on the bottom and I think it looks good when the light bounces off the bottom surface. Similar to how a light strip looks behind a TV in a way. But this also makes the light not as noticeable. So when you're saying the wake word, it might not be as obvious that it's listening to you. Especially if it's in a bright room. I think it's partly due to my eyes looking at the top, expecting to see the ring light. I've already started getting used to it, so I think it'll be more normal as time goes on. Now one of the main reasons to get the Echo over its mini-me, the Echo Dot, is its speakers. There are dual front-firing tweeters, which is an improvement over the last generation Echo that only had one tweeter. It also has a three inch woofer like before, and the sound is pretty good considering the Echo's size and price. Even though the sound on the Echo Dot has improved, the new and bigger Amazon Echo still blows it out of the water when it comes to music. So I would keep that in mind if you're deciding on what to get, especially if you listen to music a lot in a certain room. As for voice clarity, it's very crisp and clear. Right now in Mesa, it's 93 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. It actually sounds pretty similar to the new Echo Dot. Currently, in Mesa it's 93 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Tonight's forecast has clear skies with a low of 63 degrees. The Echo has six microphones and it does a good job picking me up even when playing loud music. Computer. Now onto the Zigbee hub inside, which is another reason you might want to choose the Echo over the Echo Dot. Before you had to choose between the Echo and the Echo Plus, which had a Zigbee hub inside, but it costs more. Now the Zigbee hub is included for the lower price, and so it's going to go into a lot more homes. Unfortunately, I connected a few different Zigbee devices and it wasn't the greatest experience. To add each Zigbee device, I went to Add a New Device and selected Other. For each device, I had to hit Discover two times for it to finally find the device. I added a Zigbee Ecolink contact sensor, Hue bulb, SmartThings multipurpose sensor, and some IKEA trad free devices. Everything worked fine except for IKEA. I was really hoping I could use the inexpensive trad free buttons with my Amazon routines, but it doesn't work right now. One surprise was that I could set a routine based on temperature with the SmartThings multipurpose sensor. This is only available if it's connected through the Echo Zigbee hub. The Echo device also has a temperature sensor in it that you can use for routines as well. So you could have a fan turn on if it's over a certain temperature, or if it gets too cold, it could alert you. If you want to know other compatible Zigbee devices, there's a page on Amazon that I'll link below down in the description. The problem is, is that there's more devices on the mobile version than the desktop one. Like I saw smart things on the mobile, but not desktop, and I thought I was losing it there for a second. I always feel like there's too many devices that call themselves a hub when they're not. To me, a hub is something like SmartThings, Hubitat, or Home Assistant. They make a lot of devices work together with things like Z-Wave and Zigbee. They run things locally, and they run complex automations. With this Echo, it checks some of the boxes, like you can control your Zigbee lights if the Wi-Fi is down. Not working with Z-Wave isn't that big of a deal, even though it would be nice. The bigger thing to me is advanced automations. Right now, the Amazon routines can only trigger an automation based on one device. Also, you cannot set up automations for common situations, like if a door was left open for more than a minute, then blast an announcement. While you cannot set these up right now with the Amazon routines, it's pretty easy to do with other hubs. However, Amazon could improve this. This is why I think the new Echo is important. More people will be buying this than the previous Echo Plus since it's less expensive. 
so a lot more Zigbee hubs will be sneaking into homes like a Trojan horse. Like a good Trojan horse, if that's a thing. If Amazon really wants to bring home automation to the masses, they can. All they have to do is widen the range of compatible Zigbee devices and improve routines for advanced automations. They're never going to replace something like Home Assistant, but for a lot of people, this hub could be enough someday. I love the idea of buying one Echo device and not needing to buy another hub. Maybe that will never happen, but I hope it does. Another ambitious smart home project by Amazon is Sidewalk. If you haven't heard of what it is, basically you can opt in to allow your Echo and Ring devices to act as bridges to extend your wireless range. And it will even work with your neighbor's Sidewalk bridges to make a massive mesh system. And it's supposed to be really secure. This new Echo can work as a sidewalk bridge along with previous generations of Echo devices. However, the new Echo is one of Amazon's few devices that can use the 900 megahertz long range signal that can go up to a half a mile. I am definitely interested to see where this is headed. Okay, so do I recommend getting the new Echo? If you have a place where you listen to music often and want to improve the sound, this fills the room better than the Echo Dot. Both the sound and the look will make more of a statement. Even though Sidewalk isn't released yet, you may want this Echo for its long-range network to go beyond your home's Wi-Fi. I think it's worth a $100 price point, and the Zigbee Hub is just a bonus right now. If Amazon updates the routines and compatible devices, then I would recommend it even higher. But if you rarely listen to music or always connect your dot to an external speaker, then you would be fine with just getting the Echo Dot which is also a great value. I'll be making more videos on Amazon routines and automation ideas in the future, so make sure to subscribe to not miss those. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again next time. Hey, that's not what I meant by Trojan horse. This is so humiliating. I am not a baby.